Welcome back. Uh, we got some more side quests to go. Just uh, running around the world on Dragonback, grabbing some stuff. Alright, so now we're up in the northern boreal area. And uh, another spell book. I'm guessing it's uh, ice related. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, that blue book. That's uh, for Nova. I've been teaching her the ice spells. And, uh, you know, I kind of like the idea of having these on the map, you know, to find. But, um, in general, it doesn't really mesh with the, the Celeste lore that was established later. You know, like I said before, it, uh, you're supposed to take, like, you know, serious training to learn a, uh, you know, a school of magic, not just <laughs> reading a book. But, you know, this was older, and I hadn't really put as much thought into how the magic works as I do now. So, oh, I can't land there. Uh, anytime... You, you can't... Oops, in a fight, too. Jeez. Silly rabbits. Spellbooks aren't for me. Um, but you can't land the dragon on any, like, event. So if you try to land the dragon on something, uh, <laughs> he, he won't go, and that's how you know that something's there. Uh, now, this is a little uh, spring that Dasani asked us to visit and fetch some uh, holy water for her. And they're going to have a little uh, discussion about her wings and the sort of strange nature of them. Um, and, you know, this is probably like the only time that the the ambiguity of the whole wings thing is uh, is given some uh, thought by the characters. Um, and, of course, you know, it, it played a much bigger role in uh, Master of the Wind. You know, we had multiple characters who, you know, achieved that. And it became, you know, that ambiguity became very important uh, to, you know, the storyline as a whole. And that uh, was another thing that, uh, you know, was established in this game, but it wasn't especially developed until later when we returned to the world and developed it more and what have you. Over here we got the, uh, the spellbook shop, which if you wanted to, you actually could have gone here with the ship when we first got that ship. But, you know, I wanted to get things going and I knew I'd come back with the plane. But now we're showing him that that book that we found in the sewers, the uh, that mysterious book in a different language, and he's saying that it translates into steel skin. It's a very powerful defense buff that Arius can cast on himself, and uh, now he's learned it. And uh, we're you know this guy has contributed his small part to the to the effort. Um, and also, if you had to get in the spell books and you wanted to um, to get some more, you could buy them all here. And if you had enough money, you could pretty much teach somebody almost an entire school of magic, um, except, like I said last time, the, uh, the most powerful spell books are still, can only be found in the wild, or, you know, as part of, uh, quests or whatever, the, not just in, um, uh, what do you call it, not just in a shop. So, it doesn't look like there's too much to get on the swamp, there's Monster Island, we'll have a lot of, probably something here, though, yeah, Potion of Titans, um, We'll go there a little later. There's still a few more story-related bits we can do. Um, let's go down to the brutal area here, the plains. And, uh... Okay, yeah, so this is a new building that pops up towards the end of the game. And uh, let's check it out, see what's up. And it's Drancy's and his girl, Lavinia. And, um... So, Drancy's hasn't exactly been a friend of ours. But, uh, you know, he's not really, for whatever else you might say about the guy, he doesn't really hold grudges. He just kind of shifts his allegiances based on how he has to. And, um, so now he's, he wants to, uh, he's doing some construction work here, and he, he plans to start an advanced school of, you know, martial arts. And actually, it's, um, it's referenced in Master of the Wind briefly. There's a part where a bunch of uh, local, well, not local, but worldwide uh, businesses are referenced in, like, some, you know, they're looking through some data, and uh, the Drancy School of Advanced Technique is uh, is referenced. So it looks like this this got off the ground. And uh, right now he's telling terms that the only reason he tagged along with Lysander and went to Gallia was, was to a chance at that prize money in the tournament. Which, of course, turns beat him and took the prize money and gave it to the Rebellion. And, uh... So, but he's uh, undaunted, and he wants to charge people exorbitant prices. And the joke is that, you know, 40000 
um, tuition at, at NYU, where I went to college, was about $40,000 a year once you factored in the dorms and everything like that. And uh, it's, I'm sure it's only gone up since then. But um, it's uh, that was a joke of oh, $40,000. Nobody can afford that, but of course that's what we're all paying, or our parents, or government loans were paying to be even more accurate about it. But, um, you know, we end, we end things on uh, semi-good terms with Drancy's. And uh, he teaches a Saturnus, a very valuable skill. Um, oh, this is great. Yeah, Galdar. <laughs> um, Galdar throwing his whole, like, uh, you know, money-centric viewpoint back in his face there. Um, but... Um, we learned the lightning speed spell, which is the only like major buff that Turnus didn't have. I mean, he had a mild speed buff, but lightning speed is really good. And for some of the the end game fights, when it's important to be able to have somebody who can go first, um, it's it's pretty valuable. All right, so now he told us that uh, Turnus's little cousin is at the ninja camp, even though Rutol is kind of deserted right now because so many people are uh, at the you know with the rebellion. But we're going to sort of the ninja camp area because she's too young to be uh, wrapped up in all this fighting. Um, but probably old enough to just kind of go on the camp and, you know, do, it, do as she pleases. But uh, she's been doing some, like, uh, crafting stuff. And oh, I, I like this part, too, though. She's wondering, like, what it's all for. And, um... Teres has a nice line here. I think it's coming up. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's rambling out of it. But uh, there it is, yeah, you're the future. You're what we're fighting for. And uh, that's the truth, I mean, and, you know, and people like Saad and, and Finley, who were younger in Master of the Wind and weren't alive for this whole thing, um, you know, grew up peacefully because of, you know, what they're doing right now. And um, so now she gave us, or she gave Turnus a, a custom made accessory, which is very nice. Pre prevents blind sleep as well as being a pretty considerable uh, boost to some of his stats, so that was cool. And now, what should we do now? There's a couple more things, I think, but we're starting to get through most of them. I guess we could just hang out a monster. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's, let's stop here, because we were supposed to report back here when uh, we got the shield for no from Noah's father. And, um, so I guess now that uh, she's passed this final test, um, we're going to get another thing from Griff, uh, an upgraded version of the summoning spell for him, where he basically shows up and like throws out a nuke, or well, not a nuke, but like just this, this big explosion. <laughs> it's kind of goofy, but um, all right, so we got that, and now let's uh, let's go to Monster Island. There's a lot of goodies there. Um, there's like one of each orb. You know, you can look for distinctive spots. And a lot of Titan potions, and just uh, it's worth it's worth prowling around here. Yeah, see, look at all this good stuff. And some of those orbs are really useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come on, yeah. Um, all right, so then, now see, look at that very conspicuous blank spot in the forest. That's the kind of thing you gotta look for. And that kind of thing goes way back to like Dragon Warrior. You know what I mean? If you guys have played that, um, I know some of some of you guys. You know, we're not even born when when those games were, well, the early ones were popular. But um, you know, you'd walk across a map that looked a lot like this, really, and then any sort of uh, weird-looking spot was worth checking out. And I remember there was one part where you go to this um, like swamp, and you have to keep walking through the swamp, and there's like little patches of like of regular land, and there's always really good stuff there. Um, all right, I want to find some monsters. A wizard, very strong magical guy. Just to try out all our new weapons, you know, we gotta and techniques, you know, we gotta make some use of this. Let's let's check out the new uh, Griff spell that I got. Here he comes, boom! <laughs> That's hardcore. <laughs> all right, so I did the. Oh man, he's getting us with some pretty tough magic, but we got nice new weapons. And uh, what should I do with him? I just have to attack as well. Do some curing. Just in case, I mean, we're not likely to lose, but you never know. There's Monster Island. But yeah, man, that Elven King sword is sick. Just being able to attack twice, and he and Arius actually gets crits pretty often with that. Not as often as Galdar, of course, but uh, 
reasonably often. And so that combination you can do with like pretty kick ass damage. Oh yeah, goodbye wizard, sorry. Better luck next time. Uh, let's see if we can find a few more monsters after we heal up. Um, okay then. What we got here? Eh. Come on, come on. Show me something. Oh, where's everybody? Oh, another wizard? Not so many different. I've had encounter rates, this, high encounter rates this whole damn game, and now I can't find anybody. Alright, but now we got a lich. And uh, we already fought one of these guys back in, uh, you know, in the thing we took the barracks, but might as well fight another one. Yeah, see, there's a crit with the Elven Kings. I hope at some point in this game, not too much left, but that I can get a uh, a double crit with that sword. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, oh, jeez. Hit me with that. That'll keep him around a little longer. Absorb our hit points. Um, okay, well, but that's why we got Nova. Come on, Galar, get him! Oh, he dodged. Oof. We'll get him. Oh, man, Nova, even Nova's getting crits now. That's the way to go. And the guy's got a lot of hit points, though. He's taking stand up this view so far. Oh, okay. He was near the end. Yeah, good times, good times. Alright, oops, who was it? Oh, I just fought this guy. Oh, and he... Jeez, knocked out Arius. That's great. Um... It's too big. There's some really intimidating monsters on this island. Like, really giant ones, but I don't know if I want to troll around here forever. Um, so we'll go back and uh, do some other shit. Now, we have to still get the ingredients for uh, the recipe for Turnus's, um, you know, his, what do you call it, ultimate uh, weapon. And uh, we need firearms. I think we've got like two or three, in, you know, already in our in our possession. But there's a place in Central Gallia where you can go and uh, get some more. And uh, we'll just head to the, the main marketplace and it will, we'll grab some and then we'll be able to uh, take it to the Dragon City, which is uh, pretty easily accessible by the, the dragon. You know, you don't have to um, you know, go all the way um, you know, through that mountain dungeon again. This is the guy that sells them. And, uh, let's see, fire or fire or, yeah. They're, they're not cheap, but we got a lot of money, so we can afford to make this investment. And, uh, there we go. And there's a few other secret things I can do yet that, uh, you know, we'll make some more money from. There's one in particular that I won't be able to do now, but I will next time. Peace.